Oftentimes, as an actor, you're asked to or expected to make sense of something for the audience. For me, cinema is more a place where your unformed thoughts and feelings collect into a collective space and through the narrative, they're off, you're offered a pathway into insights, but it's not to ask you to think or feel something. And that's what I loved about Tar is that there's no right or wrong way to view the film. You want to dance the mask, you must service the composer. You got to sublimate yourself, your ego, and yes, your identity. You must, in fact, stand in front of the public and God and obliterate yourself. In order to truly create an ambiguous character, you have to hold two opposing ideas in your mind at the same time. Because we, we often look at um, characters, and I think women in film have suffered from this, where we have to understand them, we have to relate to them, we have to like them, that they can't do um, unexpected, unpalatable, or complicated things, that they, they can't hold that ambiguity within them. I think the idea that one female character represents all of female experience is a very, I was going to say old-fashioned one. Women are not a monolith. I thought my use-by date when I stepped in front of the screen as a, as a 25 year old was five years. And of course, there's been trailblazing women behind and in front of the camera who have kept pushing that use-by date beyond that. They've pushed the possibilities of what women can play. What attracts me to a role is the strangeness of the ask and the potential quality of the conversation of the people that you're going to be spending time with because film, it's a temporal medium and so it, it takes a lot of time to prepare, to shoot, to talk about and so you have to be pretty in love with the ideas of the film, with the people that you're making it with, and the range of the character. And sometimes, you know, you can die on page nine, and sometimes you are the one who is most propulsive character in the narrative. Those things are immaterial to me. But in the case of Lydia Tarr, it was being in dialogue with Todd Field. And I think that the vastness and um, dangerous quality of the questions that the script held that's the exciting thing, when you can connect into, and you never know whether this is, this is going to happen or not, but you connect into the zeitgeist, but then you're also making something that's going to stand the test of time.